Hey guys and welcome back. So today we are going to be watching Lost season 1 episode 19 and this next episode is called Deus Ex Machina and I'm so so excited. The previous episode was the craziest one they had so far I think. Just figuring out about these numbers and Hurley's connection to the island and to all of this is so crazy. I am so excited to see where all of that will lead, like where did these numbers come from, why do they appear everywhere, apparently they have been appearing this whole time. Like I was told that now that I know about these numbers I should be seeing them pop up everywhere, so I'm so excited for that. And also they appear on the hatch that we're trying to open. God, can we please finally pick that storyline back up because I am dying of curiosity over here, especially with the numbers. Like, this is so insane and so crazy. I'm so excited to see what these numbers are and where they're gonna lead and what it all means. Was it Hurley's fault that they crashed on this island or is there something else going on? I don't know. It's just too crazy. Okay, there's too much going on and I'm so excited about all of it. Also, I just edited episode 11 and something stood out to me and it was when Walt said that his dad, aka stepdad, aka Brian, I think, always said that Walt is the luckiest kid alive. Like he said this during one of his backgammon matches against Hurley, where Walt kept winning and kept getting the right numbers on the dices. So that's what Walt said, that like Brian thinks he's the luckiest kid on the planet, which is so interesting, right? Because then we know that Brian thinks something weird is going on with Walt and he doesn't even trust him and he thinks he's a bad omen as well. So like, he's the luckiest kid, but also he brings bad luck to others maybe. Like maybe this is a Hurley situation, right? Where like the person themselves, like Hurley got really lucky. He got all this money from winning the lotto and he kept doubling his money. And now he's worth $150 million or something like that. But then everyone around him is always suffering. So what if something similar is going on with Walt, where he's like the luckiest person alive, but then he brought this death upon his mom or something? Or how when Michael tried to fight for Walt, he ended up getting hit by a car, so like he couldn't actually go through with it. And then he got into all of this debt, and the only way he was able to get out of it was to agree to the mom's demands of letting go of Walt and letting Brian adopt him. So yeah, I just think it's very interesting, right? Like that maybe there's a connection between Hurley and Walt or something. I don't know, something's going on with Walt, and I'm excited to find out what it is. Also, I I have a crazy prediction for Jack. So, you know, I was watching that episode and the moment where Jack decided to go against his dad was when he found out that the woman the dad kind of sort of killed was pregnant. I don't know, it made me think like, oh shit, what if Jack dealt with a miscarriage before? Like maybe he had a long-term girlfriend or a wife? Like we don't actually know much about his personal life. Like he could be divorced or something. But yeah, what if the person he was with got pregnant and then had a miscarriage or something like that. I don't know, that's my wild theory. I just wanted to throw it out there, see if it sticks. So yeah, I'm just expecting, predicting that maybe there's gonna be a flashback episode of Jack where we find out that he was supposed to be a dad and then it never ended up happening. So yeah. That's, that's my crazy prediction for the day. But yeah, sorry that this is a little bit of a longer intro. I just wanted to talk about those two things because they occurred to me and I was like, I need to fit them in somewhere. So I'm just gonna do it here. But yes, I'm very excited to get into this episode, especially about these numbers. God, I hope we can continue with the storyline because that's so fascinating and so crazy to me. So I cannot wait to see what we're gonna find out in this episode. And also what new mysteries they will throw at us because that's what the show does. They give you a little bit of a crumb of information and like answers to things and then give you 8 million new things to think about and to try and figure out, which I do love. Like I love this show so much. So yes, very excited to get into this. And if you guys are interested, you can watch the full unedited reaction to this up on my Patreon. The link is gonna be in the description down below. And without further ado, let's just jump straight into it. What's that? A game. It's my favorite oh, game. What died on the top of your head? Lands here on the old cheese wheel. And then if you set it up just right, you spring. Who's it. that lady? Why are you looking at him like that? Could you tell me where the footballs are? Yeah. Uh -huh. um, right. Yes. Yeah. 
because I think that's gonna be important. Are we setting a trap for something later on? All we gotta do is break the glass. Dude, it's huge. It's called a trebuchet, Boone. Because it's trebuchet. Oh my I don't get god. Mad. One minute you're quoting me. Look at the shape of it. What the hell is this thing? We've been coming out here every day for two weeks. You never talk about yourself. Everybody's got a story. My story would bore you. Oh, it would not. His is great. His and Hurley's are the most interesting ones at the moment. One. I'm sorry. What is that window made out of? This was supposed to work! John! That's okay. Try again. Your leg, man. What? Oh my god, what's wrong with his leg? <gasps> oh, Jesus Christ, can he not feel that? You okay? Yeah. Okay, that's weird. Is that like a residual thing? Or is he losing the feeling in his legs again? He can't feel it, but he can still walk. That's very weird and very scary. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, what are you doing? Oh, what are you doing? Why would you do that? Oh, God. Why doesn't he feel anything? That's so bad. What does that mean? Is he gonna lose the ability to walk again? I think he burned his wheelchair. That's not gonna be good for him. I don't think that glass is gonna break, man. Whatever it's made out of. Everything breaks if you apply the right force. So we're just gonna build another one of your inventions. Hope it works this time. That's right. Why not ask Jack for a gun? What if it doesn't? Then the island will tell us what to do. What's that? Uh oh. Your leg okay? No, he has trouble standing up. Does he think it's like punishment from the island? He can't open the hatch, so now it's taking his ability to walk away. Wait. Why are you following me? I'm sorry. Who are you? I'm your mother. <gasps> his biological one? Oh, he met her? Oh, shit. What do you want from me? I want to tell you that you're special. Very special. You're part of a design you do realize that don't you what are you on about me finding you this is a sign of things to come great mm -hmm. things sure you don't have a father my bad mary you were immaculately conceived oh my god he's jesus 2.0 that's good to know why did you say so earlier i would have bowed down or something which one that one you're sure because this is the one I've been using and nothing's happening. Is he using it as toilet paper and is it chafing his butt? He has headaches. Doesn't the guy have like a truckload of aspirin stashed away somewhere? He says aspirin didn't help. That's weird. I don't like that. You can't open that thing up. You say you can, but you can't. No, don't tell me what I can do. Don't you get it? It's dead end. He doesn't like when people tell him what he can do. We're supposed to find this, right? We're supposed to open it, right? Then tell me something, John. If we're supposed to open it, then why the hell haven't we opened it yet? You know what? Fair question. It's not time yet. The island will send us a sign. The island will send us a sign. All that's happening now is our faith is being tested, our commitment. But we will open it. The island will show us how. What kind of sign will the island send us? Huh, John? A plane? A plane? Did you see that? Yeah, I did. Boom. What? What's going on? What the hell was that? Teresa falls up the stairs. Teresa falls down the stairs. Teresa falls up the stairs. Teresa falls down the stairs. Teresa falls up the stairs. Teresa falls down the stairs. Teresa falls up the stairs. Don't take it back! What's going on? Oh, it was a nightmare. I mean, I figured it was a nightmare, but also I thought maybe it was a hallucination. What was the mom pointing at? Why was Boone so bloody? What was that plane? She's my mother. I lifted some hairs from her car and matched them with your DNA samples. It's 99% certain. Okay. She was institutionalized a few times. What for? Not surprising. It's a type of schizophrenia. Apparently, if she stays on a med, she's okay. Poor mom. Wait. Isn't that hereditary, though? What about my father? Maybe he doesn't even know you exist. This stuff isn't meant to be, even though it may feel that way. But this probably won't have a happy ending. Oh, no. Do you want it or not? I want it. Oh, God. He did say something about his dad being a dick, I think, in the previous episode, or the one before that. So this is not gonna end well. Tell him I, I don't want anything. 
My mother is Emily Locke. Please? Oh no, what's the dad gonna do? Is he gonna be a dick to him? Oh, you can go on in, sir. Okay. Well, this is awkward. Very much so. Did she find you or did you find her? She found me. How did she look? All right, I guess. She say anything about me? That you're God? That I was immaculately conceived. <laughs> really? <laughs> it's like there's nothing immaculate about how I act in the bedroom. Do you hunt? No. <laughs> no. You're not one of those animal rights nut jobs, are you? No. No, sir. Oh my god. Is this the guy who turned luck into what we know today? I gotta tell you, signs and dreams and... Who's Teresa? What? Teresa falls up the stairs, Teresa falls down the stairs. Wait, that actually means something to Boone? How do you know about that? I don't know, Boone, but we're supposed to go to this place. Oh my god, what's happening? Sensitivity to light, that bad? Depends. On what? On what's causing your headaches? It's not like it's a tumor or something. What makes you think it's a tumor? Are we sure? I don't. Great. Okay then. My uncle. He had one. That run in the family. Tumors. What type of he tumor did. was it? The type that kills you. You really narrowed it down. Just headaches. Well, I'm sure you're fine then. Thanks, Doc. Look, if this is worrying you, there's a couple of tests that I could do. Sorry, Doc. Sounds fun, but my insurance ran out. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh, Sawyer, ask for help. You deserve to live pain free. So, in this dream, you saw a plane crash, right? Yeah, okay. The fact that we were all just in a plane crash, you didn't think for one second. <gasps> Jeez, is he okay? Did he trip or did his leg give out? Well, that's a sign for sure. Where do you think it came from? Someone from the plane, right? Not from our plane. Like, it looks like it's been there for maybe years. Anthony? Oh, God, the dad is sick. What is this? It's a dialysis machine. Oh, no. I'm on the donor list, but I'm an old man, and it's a long list. Well, can't you just buy one off the black market? What is a Nigerian priest doing in an island in the South Pacific? Awesome question. With a gun? I'm not so sure he's a priest. Probably not. But hey, maybe you can try and shoot through the glass, right? I think you should just shut up and relax. <sighs> what the hell are you doing? <clears throat> Have you ever had a blood transfusion? What? No. Taking pills for malaria? Nope. Have you ever had sex with a prostitute? What the hell's that got to do with anything? STDs, hun. And have you ever contracted a sexually transmitted disease? I'm gonna take that as another yes. Oh, damn. When was the last outbreak? Go to hell, Doc. Do you not? Okay, bye. I know he deserved it, but... He needs glasses. <laughs> oh my god, it's such a little shit. That is so funny. That's your right leg, John. What's wrong with your left? I'm fine. Now stop asking. <gasps> oh my god, no. Why is the island doing this to him? I was in a wheelchair. What? Uh, paralyzed for four years. Oh, shit. The plane, our plane, I was in that chair when we took off, but not after we crashed. Why were you in a wheelchair? What do you mean? Because he couldn't walk? This island, it changed me. It made me whole. Now it's trying to take it back, and I don't know why. I don't know either. It's weird. You and I are here for a reason. There's something that we were meant to find. Something that's going to help us get into the hatch. I no what? God, I'm so excited. Okay. Yeah, now he believes you. Now it makes more sense. Oh my god, I can't wait to see what they're gonna find. And will his leg movements come back just like immediately when they do? Oh no. Got him. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Good shot, son. Oh, he's so happy he called him his son. At least she brought us together. Thank God it happened now. Well, we still have time. 
I don't know about this. It's weird. Something's fishy. She was my nanny. My bedroom was at the top of this huge flight of stairs. And I was sitting in bed all day, calling her on the intercom. One day she took a bad step, broke her neck. I was six. Oh my god. Oh my god, what he's looking at. I said, what the hell is so funny? <laughs> <laughs> it's the flame. Oh my god, this is so crazy. So their dreams are prophetic here. I really want to go back and watch Claire's dreams now. What's important is that we found it. What's important is what's inside it. Oh my god, I'm so curious. Let's go up. Can we go up this episode, please? Don't make me wait. You're gonna have to climb up there for us and find out. Let's go. Oh, that's a big climb though. Can we just like dislodge it somehow or something? Get it to fall down? You can still change your mind. Oh nah. god, he gave him his kidney. I'm so thankful for you, John. Oh god, the dad tricked him, didn't he? You were supposed to come for 12, right? You weren't supposed to be here till 12. Uh, I thought you said 11. See you on the other side, son. Dude, that's my stuff. Got hyperopia. Hyperopia. <laughs> Why are you scaring him? <laughs> what is that? You're farsighted. Farsighted. Yeah. <laughs> uh-uh. No way. Sawyer, so it's not a fashion show. Is he making a new one for Sawyer? Oh, he needs like different prescriptions for different eyes or something? Har har, very funny. Oh my god, he looks so funny. Looks like someone's team ruled Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> you love this, don't you? A little bit, yeah. Oh, he made it. Let's go. Oh god, be careful though. Oh god, maybe I'll hang on to a branch or something. Dude, wasn't he like bloody in Log Stream? Is he gonna get hurt? Oh god! Oh god! Ew, Jesus Christ, be careful, boy. <laughs> Don't worry, he just found the pilot. Wanna know what's in your damn plane, Lock? Here's your oh, sign. They were definitely smugglers. What's in it? Drug smugglers, no less. Oh shit. The drug smugglers, Lock. Heroin! That's all that's in here! Well, maybe we need to get high! Did you ever think about that, Boone? <gasps> oh god! Oh shit, is it gonna work? <laughs> oh god, no! Mayday, oh. mayday! Boone, there's no time! Get out now! Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Oh my god. Repeat your transmission, please! <laughs> Oh my god, the outside world! We're talking to the outside world! Get out! Get out! Oh my god, is Boone okay? It's gonna be fine, right? It's just a minor injury. We're good. Oh god, Boone. Oh. Oh my god, this poor man. Your dumbass dream, Locke! Look what you've done! Oh god, come on, Locke. Come on, don't let his legs give out. Let's get him to Jack. Oh, that was so stressful. I thought he died. I honestly thought he died. What happened? There was an accident. Boone fell off a cliff. How near the place we were hunting. He's still lying. <gasps> Okay. Oh my god. Tell me exactly what happened. John. Lock! Where did he go? Dude, you got him into this mess and you just left him? Oh no, did the dad die? Mr. Cooper checked out this afternoon. He went back home. He's under private care. That doesn't make any... Oh what? god. Did he leave me a message? No, not that I know of. You just relax, Mr. Locke. I'm gonna get you some juice. Oh my god, he just left him there. I thought he tricked him into the surgery, but I didn't think he would just, like, leave him afterwards. It was his idea. 
Oh god, the mom was in it too. You're kidding. How much did he give you for it? I needed some money. He's always been good that way. Your father's always <sighs> been generous. Jesus Christ. You told me I didn't have a father. Well, he said that was the only way you would give it to him. It had to be your idea. He told me where to find you. He he asked me to go see you. That is so fucked up. I wanted to see you. Bitch, shut up and die. This can't be happening. This, this is a misunderstanding. This, this can't happen to me. So sorry, honey. You wouldn't do this to me. This I didn't expect. I didn't think he would just abandon him afterwards. I thought they actually bonded. He w wouldn't do this to me. Eddie! Eddie, open the gate. Mr. Cooper's not seeing guests. I'm not a guest. I'm sorry, John. This is so sad. Sorry, I'm gonna need you to move your car. At least you could still be his dad. You can't do this. John, please, move your car. <laughs> So fucking sad. This poor man. I've done everything you wanted me to do. So why did you do this to me? I have someone's home. No, no. I hate this show so fucking much. <laughs> oh, there you end. Oh my god. Dude, what the fuck was this episode? This killed me. Okay, first of all, someone's home. There's a light, there's electricity. We need to open that shit. Like, maybe we can just knock and be like, hey, can you open it? Is that how they're gonna open it? Like, someone will open it from the inside. I'm so excited. I'm actually so excited. Like, I'm like that excited where I like turned into calmness because this is crazy. I just, okay, okay. What a fantastic episode, first of all. That flashback scene absolutely heartbreaking poor luck Judy has like a sad ass life like i already thought that his first flashback was so sad especially the part where he wanted his girlfriend you know to come with him to australia and then she was just a phone sex operator and not his girlfriend already broke my heart and then him yelling at the guy where he's like no i have to go on this walkabout like this is my destiny you can't tell me what i can and cannot do again so sad and then this episode they were like you know what his life isn't sad enough just yet let's ramp it up even though he also had that like super sad story in one of the episodes right where he was talking about his foster sister so yeah john had a super hard life his dad is a menace to society like how are you gonna do that to your son i mean i thought that maybe he was tricking him into law giving him his kidney but i didn't think that after the deed was done he would shun his son like he would just straight up ignore him and never talk to him again like what and then the mom she was in it abandon your son you didn't even make sure that he got adopted he grew up in the foster care system and then now you find him and you're like i know how i can make it up for him for abandoning him and giving him help for adoption by stealing his kidney and breaking his heart when the dad abandons him afterwards wow great parents honestly so far most of the parents we've seen on this show terrible people not all of them Hurley's mom and grandpa were nice people, but a lot of them are just like absolute little bitches. It's so sad. Also Boone's backstory with the babysitter, very sad. God, I hope he's gonna be okay. Dude, I was oof, not expecting for his chest to look like that. That looks so bad. I just, oh, I'm worried about him. I don't know what kind of show this is in the sense of like killing off main characters. We did have two fake out deaths already, but you know, they were fake outs. So like we haven't actually lost a main character just yet. We only lost Tom, possibly that was his name, Scott, maybe. 
whoever, we lost that guy, but we haven't lost anyone major yet. I don't know if we will. Should I be worried? Maybe. I don't know. I'm worried for Boom, though, actually. Like, that is my current state. Worry, because his chest looked fucked up. So, yeah, I'm really worried about that. But also, he did make contact with the outside world he was able to tell them about the plane and their number so at least the authorities who might be looking for them now know that there are actual survivors so hopefully that means they're looking extra hard for our crew now i mean you know i know how many seasons this show has so i'm assuming they're not gonna find them until maybe season six so i'm guessing boone's message won't matter that much in the grand scheme of things. So him getting hurt for it was kind of pointless, but he didn't know that. And it's very sweet that he tried. But it was crazy though. It'd be cool though, like once they get rescued, at least I hope they get rescued, like they don't just live and die on this island. Like it'd be cool when that happens that they could flash back to this moment where it's like, oh, this was actually a big part in people finding them, so that'd be really cool. I would like that if they could bring this back in the end, so that Boone's injuries are not for nothing. But also, so what was the point of all of that? Hmm, let's think about this. What did the island want with this? So the island gave Locke this dream, where he dreamt about the plane, where he dreamt about Boone being bloody, and then the whole, like, Teresa fall down the stairs. Thing. Oh, and he dreamt about his mom as well. What did all of this mean? Like, why did they have to get to this plane? It didn't help them with opening the hatch. It just got Boone hurt. Was that the point? Was the island trying to get rid of Boone? Was us finding the drugs important? Like, why was that part of the dream? Because it had nothing to do with the hatch, as I said. So. That's very interesting. I'm excited to find that out. That's very weird. Hmm. I don't I don't know about that, right? But yeah, I really hope Boone is gonna be okay after this. Like that's such a serious injury. And we don't have a lot of medical stuff left, probably, or you know, sanitary things. But yeah, I really hope Boone's gonna be okay because his wound looked so bad. <sighs> I'm really worried actually. I I don't I don't know. As I said, are they gonna kill him? Will they do that? I, I don't know. I'm just oh, I'm actually so worried. So yeah, this was a crazy good episode. Honestly, this and the previous one were both extreme bangers of episodes. We really moved the plot along and that ending with the light turning on. I'm sorry. What? That's so crazy. I cannot wait to see the next episode. Like, holy shit, I'm so excited. This show is absolutely bonkers and I'm loving every single second of it. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, a huge, huge shout out goes out to all my Patreons for supporting me. Thank you guys so much. You guys are the best. I really appreciate every single one of you. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.